Welcome to Weld.com. I have Mr. Spencer Helms with me today, the second year student. Um, tell you something about this little cat daddy right here. He, uh, he's not scared to pass a test, and he likes to call me out when it, when it comes to MIG welding. This kid, uh, I feel like I got beat a couple times last semester. Huh? It ain't funny. Maybe. Maybe. I'm telling you, you were super smooth in all positions, uh, uphill, horizontal. They laid down some good stuff. So I think I might have him on stick welding here. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a uphill procedure. Now we've got three eighths plate beveled, our standard thirty degrees. What do you like for a, what have you noticed here when you've been working on this? What do you like for a fit? Uh -huh. Within reason, I mean. A little less than eighth inch, yeah. Okay. Root face, what do you like? Uh, Something about the same? Yeah, about so, the same. So uphill, you like to thicken up that root face to carry the heat a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, I worked with uh, I worked with your cohort there, John Michael, a while ago, and it was a little thinner fit, but I think his problem is not holding a good short steady arc. What have you noticed? What, what are you having trouble with here? I mean, are you smoking them in there pretty good, or? Yeah. Seems like I walked by one day and you had a little hangy down thing on the back side of the root. I was checking you out. Yeah. You'd work on restarts then. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We can do that. That's simple. So let's get some gear on. We'll fit up, tack up, and uh, be right back. All right, let's uh, let's stick a bullet in there and light up, man. Let's go. Do it to it. Man, you and John Michael must hang out together. You both good. You both doing the same thing. I'm noticing. I'm noticing this arc going that way. Is it because you feel like you cramp? From, we can blame it on the camera guy if you want. <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's all right. I do it all the time. Yeah. Okay. Let me go clean this up. What were you doing right here in the last half inch? I, I mean, that's exactly what you want as far as profile and everything else. So if you can remember what that felt like and everything, were you moving around a lot or was this arc jumping quite a bit? Mm, I think I was moving a little bit. Okay, stitching, you weren't stitching. No. Okay, you're trying to hold it still. It's cool to, you know, when you get the right fit, and I think we have the right fit for uphill. By the way, I did turn you down five amps, about right here. So this may have been a little hot for that gap. It's cool when you can just stick the rod and drag it up and not have to do a dance and all these variations you know the only thing you'd have to do is the arc jumps to one side you correct for that but the main thing is just kind of stick stay in there the hard part is what looking underneath the rod to watch your feel right? yeah okay so when we restrike this arc to continue on what's our objective here what are we doing where are we going to strike the arc up here in the groove down yeah. here on the bead down here in the bead down here on the bead so you know again we're pretty straight in we strike get the rod going we move up on that shelf mm -hmm. and pause for just a second so that that can blend and weld and then we take off again do you think you want an amperage adjustment up here or leave it at 75 try to leave it at 75 okay now that 75 you got to remember we've we have it we have it turned up about 70% on that uh, arc feature, that dig feature, okay? All right, let's throw down.
what do you think? How confident were you mm. when you restarted? Was all of it good? Was one part of it good? Pretty sure I got a little hole. You got a hole? You better not. Better not have butchered my weld. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Okay, let's see what we got. This was uh, this was down at the bottom. We need to work on that critical start. This was uh, where it jumped to one side. This is where it got good. This is the restart. Rachar. A little thin going in. I swear when you restarted that, I thought I saw a hole. I really thought, I thought you started way too far up. Like, I mean, to me, I would have started a half inch below where you did, just to strike the arc. You're gonna grind it out anyway, which would have been down here. We're going toward you. I would have started, I think you started like right, just barely below that keyhole. But it, it's like when you moved up and set the rod in there, I swear I saw a hole in there. But it's really not a hole, so it kind of fell down. And that's the same thing we're doing, is filling this up right here. So the bead does fall down if you pause on the shelf. And then it was like, a long arc thing and then the last part of it went pretty good so you know what'd you learn what we need to work on restarts restarts and getting precise constant you're real good at mig welding you know we put that big 530 second root in there your roots were real good your uphill fills and caps were impeccable uh, Stick welding's a little different game, huh? Yeah, it is. You know, we start doing this right here everywhere on the pass. You know, when we get to pipe, we expect to not have any of this. We are gonna be making repairs. So in a way, this was good. We can teach you how to do the repair. You've opened this up for another video on teaching how to make these blends and repair and stuff like that. If we shot an x-ray of this, is that gonna pass? No. You'll, you'll see the weld again. And then you gotta learn how to fix, right? So we gotta go in and grind thin. Gotta learn that the amperages, rod techniques, go in there and stitch and blend this thing together where it doesn't have any voids in it. I'm a little concerned of what's going on on the edges. You know, if I saw this all the way and then had a little void like that, I wouldn't be quite so certain. That's a simple restart thing. But when I see stuff on the edges and that, and then see it again. That's what I'm concerned with, so. We'll get it figured out, it won't take long. Smart as you are, shoot. We can handle it, can't we? Yeah. All right. Well, got anything you want to say to the world? You'll yeah. get better, right? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna tell the world I'll get better. I'll get good at this. Yeah, I'll get better. All right. You heard him say it, folks. He's that promise to you, and I know he will. He's a good kid. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the videos. Thank you. You mumbling? Yeah, you gonna you gonna sell me a car in that outfit, or are you gonna hit the ball? Talking about it's business casual. I've been in a meeting all day. Are you dogging me? <laughs> I've been waiting to get in the weld shop all day. I'm gonna huh? kick your ass now. You know, I'm gonna kick your ass now. Dogging out my dress. All right, here we go. Deep down the middle. You shouldn't have said anything about the way I was dressed. Looks a little right. I'll let you know where it is when you hit your second shot and catch up to it. <laughs>